Hey guys, this is Rosie from Buggy Baby. Today I'm excited to unbox some cool new products with you. They are the Wiggy Wamma Bean Bag versus Teepee Set. Now Wiggy Wamma have actually got a great selection of bean bags, so I couldn't just hold it to just one product. So we're actually going to be unboxing three of them, as you can see here on the left. And then finally, we're going to move to have a look at the Teepee Set, which comes in this long box at the back. So first up, up we have the Wiggy Wamma bean bag cookie. As you can see, it is a really nice round shape as its name suggests. It actually comes in two sizes, the large and the small, which is 60 centimeters across. And that's the one we're looking at today. The Wiggy Wamma cookie comes um, in this simple protective packaging. Um, so I'm just gonna take that off and we can have a real touch and feel around what's inside. And here it is, the cookie in small. Um, this one is in blue and beige. And as you can see, um, it's stitched together with these lovely um, triangular shapes. Um, the seams are really, really, really well made. Um, I can't see any obvious joins on there. And all the way around, we have this lovely piping. And then we come to the Wiggy Wamma label and a little hang tag here. And wow, what is there to say? This feels so unbelievably luxurious. Um, I can imagine our child really loving this, snuggling up for a bedtime story or lolling in front of the TV, dare I say. Um, it's a really nice little pad. In fact, I wouldn't mind one myself. Um, the colours are really nice um, unisex and there's a little handle at the top here, which makes it easier for your child to carry around from room to room. So yeah, the cookie. Um, love that. What have we got next? Next up, we have the intriguingly named Classy Bean Bag from Wiggy Wamma. This one comes in minty green and a load of other pastel colours. So there will be a tone that looks great in your nursery. Um, it comes in this nice sturdy box. Um, with the nice branded tape. So I'm going to open it up and show you what we get. So scissors at the ready. Here we go. I've now opened it up and you can see that the classy bean bag in mint actually has a pattern on it. There we go. Let's open it out. What have we got here? Hello, I'm your new cotton friend. Okay. I did hear that all of these Wigwama products are made from OK Text 100 standard cotton, which means it's gonna be nice and breathable on your baby's skin, which is great. Oh, here we go. I'm made of standard 100 by OK Text cotton, woven from cotton yarn, long lasting and appropriate for children. Okay, and we can wash it on a gentle cycle with 30 degrees water. Okay, that's great, nice, easy care. That's what we need from a bean bag. Right, enough of that. Let's have a look at the bean bag itself. So here is the Wiggy Wamma classy bean bag in minty green out of the packaging and here on camera. As I mentioned before, the cotton ham has a nice pretty print here. You can see the leaves here, um, which is all throughout. It feels robust and durable. And most interesting about this bean bag is the shape which is kind of like a triangle rather than a square or a ball, which a lot of bean bags are, which I think is going to be really great for children who want to rest their head and body on the back of it and use it as kind of a mini slouchy chair. And here we have the classy bean bag from the side. So you can see that pointed up shape. Um, yeah, it feels really great. Um, Different feel to the cookie, which was of a luxurious um, cotton mix, which made it feel velvety. This one is very much a cotton feel, really nice. Um, not as uh, fuzzy, but definitely um, like plain, simple, and um, yeah, really, really good. What's more, the inside of the bag is filled with little granules, which are all recyclable. Um, so that's good to know. Um, we don't want all of those horrible polystyrene balls falling out, the ones that, you know, used to make our nightmare back in the 90s, if you remember those like I do. And then finally in the beanbag section of this video, I have got the Wiggy Wamma Bunny, which today I'm opening up the grey, but it comes in other pastel colours like um, beige and pink um, and blue as well. So you're sure to find something that tickles your fancy. So like the classy beanbag, this comes in a strong protective wooden uh, 
cardboard box and um, yeah, let's open it up and have another look. One thing to mention when opening up your Wiggy Wammer bean bag from its box is just to be really careful when you slit open the top because the bean bag itself, as you can see, is packed very close to the top. So it'll be fine just as long as you're careful, but you don't want to risk splitting into the fabric with a pair of scissors. And inside here we have the bunny. There we go. I'm excited to look at this one, that's for sure. Already, without even getting the bunny bean bag out, I can feel that it's very luxurious feeling, similar to the cookie, that kind of velvet rather than cottony. Can you guess the first word I said when this came out of the bag? Oh, look at those ears. How cute are they? So that's why it's called the bunny. It's a sort of oblong kind of pear shaped body with two bunny ears at the top. Soft velveteen feel. Um, it's a Ocotex 100 cotton mix with polyester. So it's still soft and breathable on your child's skin, um, but has a real luxurious feel. I just can't stop stroking this one. Here's the bunny from the back with the ears folded back. So it's got this kind of pointed part here for the bunny's head and then the ears, which your child I'm sure will enjoy playing around with, cuddling up to when they're sitting on their bean bag. Um, it's very deep, um, so your child could get a good old nestle on that one. I like to think that I could probably sit on that one too. So yeah, it's a good choice if you want to snuggle up with your little one. Moving around the bunny, you can see that it has this zipper here. So if I undo that, you can see that there's the inside and the cover is fully removable and washable if you would want to do that. Um, we've got a care card which says, if you, as for the future, if one day you were like, it's time to wash me, do it on a gentle cycle with 30 degrees water. So um, that's all good. So there we have our Wiggy Wammer selection of bean bags that I've been looking at for you today. Um, on the left, far left, we have the bunny. And then in the middle, we have the classy in minty green. And then on the right, we have the cookie, um, the smaller size. In terms of their respective sizes, the classy bean bag in minty green is the tallest and longest um, at, I think, 75 centimetres long. And then the bunny is slightly shorter at 60. And then the cookie in small um, is 60 centimeters across the diameter. But like I mentioned, you can get a large one, which is 75 centimeters wide. So really for the novelty factor and softness, I'd go for the bunny. For something durable, um, a little bit la for larger children, then definitely go for the classy. And for something just portable and gorgeous and soft, go for the cookie. Right, that's the bean bags. Now let's look at the teepee set. In this video review, I'm going to be taking a detailed look around the Wiggy Wammer teepee set, which comes in this long, thin box. Um, today, I'm going to be opening up the version in blush pink, but there are, are other colours available. Um, so yeah, let's open up and see what's inside. So first thing to note is how beautifully packaged this item is. Um, the box um, contains um, the contents all wrapped in this nice tissue and secured with the Wiggy Wammer logo there. And first out of the box, I have got some wooden poles and a set of instructions. So there we go, that's that. What looks like a canopy. A cotton cushion cover. And finally, a padded base. And the first thing to say is, the colour is absolutely gorgeous. It's sort of blush, raspberry pink, and everything feels lovely. It's made from Okatex 100 standard cotton, so that's great for washing and that's great for breathability um, and all those good things. So let's set about building this teepee. So the poles come in this cute little drawstring bag, which I'm just going to open up now. Some elastic on there. And then out come the poles. 
So each pole has a grooved end here, which I can see is very well made, and a smooth end here. And should be four in total. Tell a lie, there are, are in fact eight um, poles or half poles and we're going to join these together to make four longer poles onto which we will thread the TP canopy. Now the instructions tell me to fit um, the upper and lower sections of wood poles with the holes, making sure the holes on the pole are at the top. So one of those and one of those and then we screw those together. Okay, let's do that. That goes together nice and easily. And there's one, and then we'll repeat that with the others. The pole's complete. Now I can open up the actual TP tent itself. Um, first, let's have a quick look around it. Here it has the Wiggy Wama logo. Um, a little care card there, which shows that we can actually wash this, I believe. Um, there's some ribbons and uh, let's get this unfolded. There we go, that is the canopy laid flat out on the floor and as you can see it's got a cute little round window in it which I wasn't expecting. And this is the view from the other side so you can see you've got the triangular TP shape with the doors at the front. So it looks simple enough, I've just got to insert the poles into these side seams here to um, bring this to life. So here we go with our first pole. Um, up we go. It's quite exciting. Let's thread that through. And as you can see, I've made sure that the pole coming up the top um, is the one with the hole because we're going to insert some cord through this to tie our teepee together. So I'm just going to repeat this with the other three corners. There's number two up there. So you can see it's starting to take shape. And with all four poles in place, we can see that they're now coming out the top of the teepee in this crisscross position. Now, according to the instructions, I now got to thread a cord through these holes to keep it all together. And I was a little bit intrigued about where the cord was, but if you're wondering, it's in the bottom of the drawstring bag. Of course it was, be me. And if I just get that out. Ta-da, there it is. So I very simply threaded um, one end of the cord through the other via the four holes. Not sure whether that's going to work, but we'll soon find out when we stand it up. And sure enough, it does. These are um, assembled and upright TP, looking absolutely fab there. Um, you can play around with the uh, tension of the sides by moving this area around at the top, tightening it or loosening it, and then stretch out the sides. And as you can see, we've got some really cute doors at the front with ties, and then moving around, side there, plain side. And there we have our cute little window. Love that. Now the Wiggy Wamma TP is not quite complete. Every child needs something to lie on in their secret hidey hole. And that's where this beautiful padded mat comes in handy. So I'm going to spread this out and place this in the base of the TP. Now it's uh, kind of dark in there and I'm not sure if my um, GoPro is going to pick it up, but you can see inside just how cosy this teepee is. It really is a sea of raspberry padded pink. I think your child is going to so enjoy curling up in there. I've also tied back the little um, doors, which um, tie with just simple soft pale pink loops. So nice detail there. So just going from top to bottom, so you can see the completed thing. The only thing I haven't mentioned, which is a nice extra bonus, is you get this cushion cover inside, um, which is great because then you can um, unzip it, fix it onto any cushion that you have in the house and create a matching padded insert for the teepee. 
So that, guys, was the Wiggy Wamma beanbag versus TP set. Um, at the front, we have the classy beanbag, the cookie and the bunny, which are all great products if you want to sit with your child and read with them. Probably go for the minty if you're going to do that because it's the largest one. The other two make great cosy pads for your child um, to sit on and relax. If they're after somewhere that they can go and hide away um, and have a little privacy in their room for their teddies, etc., then a teepee is a great idea. Um, the teepee is made from cotton. It feels really, really stable. It's really easy to assemble. So I'm a big fan of the teepee as well. But what you can see by putting all these products together is just how beautifully they tone together. I mean, this is a real beautiful, luxurious feel, lifestyle range at a reasonable cost that will look fantastic in any nursery. And if you'd like to know more about Wiggy Whammer, please visit buggybaby.co.uk. Thank you.